everyone today we are going to learn how to install apache guacamole we're going to be using a script that was written and is um, open to the public at github um, it's a script by mystic Ryojin. i'm sure i'm pronouncing that name wrong um, but his actual name is chase wright um, him and some other great contributors have put this script together to make it real easy for everyone to install Apache Guacamole. Um, if you don't already know what Apache Guacamole is, it is a remote access tool um, that uh, utilizes HTML5 where you can get secure remote access um, including RDP um, and SSH and VNC to your um, internal servers without having to open up a whole bunch of ports except for port 443 so everything is handled on the web browser which is pretty easy because it's client based you don't have to install any clients on your computer mm -hmm. start installing apache guacamole by downloading the script so we're gonna run that command and then if you do ls the next thing we need to do is make this script executable so we're gonna do this and then quack install.sh and once we do that now we see that our script is executable and now we're just going to run that as root okay so I'm going to copy that paste it and then as part of the process the script is going to ask us if we want to install TOTP which is um, a type of um, a multi-factor authentication we're going to do no um, if you wanted to install duo so if you have duo um, configured you can also um, get that working as part of this script but we're going to click or select no for that as well um, i'm going to make future videos that we're going to be setting up the guacamole extensions so we're going to do no mysql is required for installation if you're using a remote MySQL server select now um, in this case we don't have a remote MySQL server and most of you out there are probably not going to have one so we're just going to do yes and then it's going to want us to input a password for our MySQL root account so I do that press enter it's going to ask you to reconfirm and we're also going to create a guacamole underscore user which is going to be the local host mysql guacamole user password so we're going to set that up here the same um, for this i will say you should use um, very secure passwords so at this point all we need to do is just wait for the installation to complete and once it completes, we're going to go ahead to a browser and access our guacamole instance. So I'm going to post the video here and I'll be back once the installation is complete. So depending on the speed you have um, or um, the capacity of your virtual machine and how fast your virtual machine is, um, this may take a while. Um, for me, it did take right around two minutes, but now the installation is complete. And we can see here that it's successfully completed. Um, it cleaned up the installation files and um, then we can now go ahead and access our virtual machine um, or guacamole instance by following this link, okay? So I'm just gonna copy that, uh, but it's gonna change. It's not gonna be through localhost. We're going to change this to 10.120.78 and now we can see we have our guacamole instance installed the default password is going to be guac admin and the default username is going to be guac admin so if we try that we should be able to log in here and there we go now we have our guacamole instance installed um, if we go in here um, just a quick overview we can go into settings we can go to users and create new users we can create new connections 
um, as you can see um, Q, um, Apache Guacamole does support VNC, Telnet, SSH, RDP and Kubernetes um, so we can set any of those on there but for whichever protocol you use you're gonna have to go down and configure these settings we're gonna go deep into that in our next video um, the next thing you can configure here is user groups and assign them to different connections if we have that created um, you can see the history of connections you can see the active sessions and you can see um, some preferences like you can change um, the date or your time zone um, you can change the display type and uh, you can also change your passwords for um, local creator users so at this point for the next video we're going to learn how to configure guacamole um, to be able to run over HTTPS using port 443 because right now if you see um, guacamole defaults to port 8080 and we're going to use port 443 for us to be able to access our guacamole instance uh, so we're going to be using the reverse proxy we're going to install that and um, we are going to be running our guacamole with a reverse proxy and a self-signed certificate or if you wanted to purchase a third party certificate that also works fine as well so thank you all for watching see you at the next video thank you